All right, gonna do a quick update overview where I'm at with the left-hander chassis. Basically, like I said in the other videos, the front end is pretty much done. It's just tacked, but the geometries are right. Everything's gonna work. The shocks are gonna work where they're at. Um, got the brake hose cleared. Everything's pretty much good for fitment up here. So now I've moved on to the rear suspension. And just to remind you guys, the reason why I'm doing this is this car was originally a coilover suspension car. And for the class I'm going to run with it, it has to be a 5-inch coil spring car. Um, you can run coilover eliminators, but it really becomes a packaging issue. And you won't have the screw jacks with a coilover eliminator. So here's where I'm at tonight. Um, I've got the lower spring perch tacked on and then i've been working on the screw jack mount and i've got that all tacked on as well the car is actually on the suspension right now um just on the left rear here so clearance right there is what i'm fighting and then clearance right there so i've got about an inch and a quarter per side and that's the best I can get. So it's going to have to ride there. The good thing is, is when you are going around a corner, this tire is always getting sucked that way. And I'll actually pull that tire a good inch, if not two inches outward that way. Now you will get some kickback of the tire. So I will want to make sure to check that to make sure it's not rubbing. That's the best I can get. This thing's kind of kicked my butt to get it there. It's... It's a lot of trial and error and, and checking angles because you've got to make sure your screw is perfectly straight up and down this way, this way, and this way. So it's really important that it's traveling on a straight axis. And that was, that was rather difficult, but see how I've got it mocked up in there. I... I added this brace here to go from the top to the bottom and then brought this square tube off. This is really thick material. Um, I'm sure I didn't need it to be that thick, but I just didn't want any problems. I didn't want to have it tear a tube or have any, any kind of failures from what I've done. See on the back side here, you can really see it. I had to cap it off at the top because this bar and that bar are not on the same axis. They're, they're offset. So what I did is ran it straight with that bar and level for it would hit that bar. And then I'll just burn it in across the back, burn it in across the front. What I mean by burn it in is welding it in there. Weld it across the bottom and then just finish weld everything there. But I'm pretty happy with it. It does look like it's all going to work out. Just, man, was that a struggle. This uh, fabrication life is not, not my thing, not what I'm good at at all. I'm not a, far, not a fabricator, far from it. But we're getting it. We're getting it knocked out. Another little battle, if you look on the floor there, which I already knew we were getting new bushings ordered, but the birdcage bushings for this three-link were bad, and I had ratchet strapped it in place to keep load on it for my because I had my pinion angle set. And that bushing just completely exploded on me earlier. So I lost my pinion angle. Just a bunch of little things fighting me tonight. But this side is pretty much done other than just finish welding it all. So I'm really happy with that. Now I've got to move on to this side, which hopefully it's a little bit easier but I'm not going to expect it to be kind of is what it is, but I'm going to do it really similar. The only difference really is going to be that this spring is forward of the axle. So the edge of the spring is on the axle center line on the front side. This one will be indexed to the rear on the axle center line. And the reason for that is it's supposed to help forward bite. And I want to say like lateral grip, something like that. More or less, I've talked to a few guys, got their input, and if you can at all possible offset the springs, they say to offset the springs. If you have to run them straight up, that's fine. Um, guys have been doing it for years, but 
for our track, they really like to offset the springs. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's pretty much the same amount of work either way. So I figured just try to do it once right. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'll be it for tonight. This is a little update. So I'd say we're, we're 75% there on getting this thing converted over. We've got this side and then just go back through and weld in, finish weld all of them. But I'm a firm believer in just tack welding everything, triple checking it all before we burn it in. And that's, that's really what I want to do because there's a lot of factors here. Once the engine's in the car, um, basically one, one factor is how much I'm going to have to run that load bolt or screw jack down to get it at ride height. Right now the car's sitting at ride height on that spring, but once we get in the car, get the lead in the car, get our left side set, I'm sure that's going to have to be ran down further. So that's one thing I was checking tonight. I was running that through its travel to see as that comes all the way down, a, do we have enough thread, which we do, and B, is it going to be any, any other interference issues or clearance issues? So that's why I'm just tacking it. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything or missing anything. But yeah, I think that'll be it for tonight. I'm Like I said, I'm just going to continue chipping away on this thing. Um, I want to clean up this interior. Honestly, I think it's going to clean up really well, to be honest. But I just want to take my time but I don't want to get too far behind at the same time. So it's going to be a little bit of a balance of making it look pretty good, but not taking two years to build this thing. So kind of got a deadline and it's coming up really fast. And ultimately at the end of the day, all I really want is to get this thing out and get some testing this year, run a race or two, minimum run one more race, and kind of go from there but kind of just rambling on here um i think that'll be it for tonight don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys have any questions on this stuff let me know um i'll i'll tell you guys anything i know have a good day keep it saucy